With us once again is Barton Adams, and mm -hmm. he is with Homage Land TV, and he always brings us fabulous guests. And Barton, who did you bring with us today? Well, Donna, we brought the Chamba Dunn. We're paying homage to a great actor, producer, as well as comedian, funny lady, Panamanian descent, born in Brooklyn, where I'm from as well. She's appeared in films Malcolm X, Lena's Dreams, and Fighting. Nice. She also co-created the New York Urban series that was only seen in Japan and never seen around the USA. And I'm excited that she's going to be co-producing on Homage Land TV, a one woman show. And she'll tell you all about that. So and it has something to do with like on your own side or something like that. It's right? called Beside Myself. Beside Yourself. Yes. I, just, I was like, I was researching that the other day and I was like, I like that beside yeah, myself because sometimes like, we often do we get besides ourselves. we do get besides ourselves yeah, yeah, yeah. um so we welcome you and thank, thank you. you so much barton for thank the you, introduction barton. uh so tell us a little bit about that new project well um beside myself is a couple of characters i've strummed up <laughs> a couple of years um back i have these characters that they deal with the same situation but differently okay so um some could be from teenage to a kid to a man and um one commonality and it all comes back to well love right because that's what everyone's about right so often we kind of find ourselves beside ourselves questioning doubting mm -hmm. and that was the premise of the yeah but it's it's pretty funny it's humorous well who do you, would you like to work with well in regards to what, in regards to comedy oh comedy yes oh wow um well i've been inspired by well, Robin Williams, rest in peace. There's um, Jim Carrey. There's, um, I would like to work with Tyler Perry. Um, there's, a, there's a slew of actors. I would love it. Issa Rae is doing like really funny stuff now okay, as well. Okay. So yeah. It's well, we had a great time in the, in the green room. She had me cracking up. So really? I, yeah, I, I gotta <laughs> ask you, um, Major Hype, would you like to work with him? Oh, and Major how can you Hype. Compliment um, he's from my hometown. He's in Brooklyn actually. And okay. well, yeah, sure. Major hype, but no competition. No competition, man. <laughs> Major hype, yeah. I would love to work with Major hype. I think that would be a, a pretty interesting dynamic, you know? And, it, and at what age did you discover that you kind of had the ability to entertain others? Was it in your classroom setting? Like, what happened? In Panama. Okay. So, often during the summer, we'll be in Panama during Father's Day. And I know that we'll do these Father's Day dinners. So one year my aunt asked for us to kind of entertain and we like went on a veranda and took sheets and I kind of co-directed and had my sister dance and I had, and then I came out and I performed and everyone resonated with it. And yeah, and then it was kind of like a yearly thing. And I started doing that. And then we brought it to America and then my aunt would do these pageant shows. And, and so it just kept going and building and building from there. I, I think it's kind of innate. I don't think I really planned it, you know? Like just kind of happen. Like me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't really plan it. I learned a lot of behind the scenes. Yeah. And then one day somebody said, oh, we want you to host the show. And it was called Indies Insider. I said, like, you want me to produce it? They're like, no, 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 we want you to host it. I was like, oh. And I had acted before. And mm -hmm. it's different when you are able to act in something because yes. you're, then you're playing a role. But for you to be your own self, and that's what comedy does, yes. right? You are you on yes, the stage. I, yes. Yeah. Takes a lot of boldness, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, there was a cool clip I, I saw of you uh, working with Terrence Howard oh. in fighting. How was that? Well, working with Terrence was quite impressive, <laughs> I would say so myself. <laughs> it was pretty impressive. You should ask him, how was it working with Chumba Dunn? No. That's what I think so, too. There we go, there we go, there we go. Also, um, you know, for those that don't know, I'm a big house head in music, okay. and I heard that you are into music production. Yes. So do you do you like club music? I or love music? club music. I, I'm actually known as Little Miss Panama on the club scene. So I would dance, 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 dance. And um, then I found myself liking music so much and then just producing sidebar, just having fun with it. And then before I knew it, I kind of like had a EP. And then before I knew it, it became music and people were like, oh, we want to hear it. So yeah, it, it grew organically. I didn't again plan it, Donna. You know, <laughs> it was just showed up in yeah. there. You were. Mm -hmm. And like you, you used to be a police officer. Barton. Yes. And yes. now you're a talk show host. Now you have your own entire Many careers. Right, right? <laughs> yes, yes. And and so I guess the connection is with you. Do you like to dance? Yes, I do. Are you a good dancer? 
well, we will we will come with a good dancer. But I don't know. I don't know why we're staying in our chairs because I know in the green room we're gonna be like we're gonna be tuning on those tunes. I'll be like, Alexa, can you cha cha? Like, oh yeah, oh, oh yes, yeah, cha-cha. I can dance. I can totally, totally dance. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when was the first time that you know besides like a bringer show or something that you were like standing in your own? Well, I actually hosted an event at the Times Square Arts Performing Center, and. I was ushering and bringing the, the, the comedians in. And as I was doing that, it happened organically again. I was cracking jokes. And in cracking jokes and ushering them onto the stage, they were like, you're pretty funny. You know, and so it then kind of started that way. And then a friend of mine took me to the Gotham Comedy uh, Club, so I became mm-hmm. part of that. That's and then, you know, then, then I would stand outside and listen to some of the comics. Like, I didn't know a lot of them. And, and I would kind of like, I guess, I don't want to say heckle, but we come outside. I'm like, your joke wasn't that funny, you know, blah, 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 blah. Oh, no. And I got a better joke than that. And it was kind of like, <laughs> oh, or, or I'll share jokes with other comedians. And then I'm like, hey, you're stealing my joke. So it wasn't really, again, planned. It right. was something that I just kind of innately did with a couple comedian friends. And then it, it grew and it spawned. Here we are. And here we are. Yes. And I thank you so much. And as always, they can find this and more at... Homage Land TV. TV. Look out for her new one woman show beside herself. Beside, beside myself. yourself. I love it. But no? But no. You're not a Gemini, are you? <laughs> no, I'm a Pisces. Oh, okay. Swim oh, up, that's so sweet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a Gemini. Like, yeah. We're always beside ourselves. Okay. Yes. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more. We've been living it up right here with Chamba Done.